वेलकम टू आवर चैनल मेडिकोस लर्निंग डेक्स हेयर वी विल डिस्कस इजी निमोनिक्स हाई एल टॉपिक्स एंड इंटीग्रेटेड रिविशन ऑफ टॉपिक्स रिलेटेड टू मेडिसिन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट सो टुडे वी विल बी डिस्कसिंग पैरासिटोलॉजी अ स्मॉल टॉपिक इनसाइड पैरासिटोलॉजी दैट इज एग्स ऑफ द हेलमिंस वी विल लर्न हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई दोज एग्स of different helminths from the diagrams so let's start cystodes tinea solium and tinea saginata they both look similar but how to differentiate between these two are that is this tinea solium tinea solium will have an armed scolex okay it will have an armed scolex and tinea saginata has an arm arm scolex now how to remember this tinea saginata saginata is a long word that is it is big and tinea solium is small so saginata doesn't need any arm to protect itself but solium solium is small so it will need arms for itself to protect itself so it will have arm scolex this is how you remember this okay now both of them have similar uh, characteristics that is both have four circular suckers see these are the four circular suckers these are present in both both of the eggs now another difference is tinea solium will have a rostellum rostellum with the hooklets see this is the rostellum and these small small are hooklets so tinea solium will have an armed scolex plus plus rostellum with hooklets okay now coming to the next d latum diphrobothrium latum or fish tip worm this will have an operculated egg what's the meaning of operculated operculated means having a lid see this is the lid this is the lid in the egg so if we find an operculated egg then this will be of fish tip worm now next is h nana h nana will have a round egg and with six hooklets inside it okay six hooklet and these will be bipolar filaments these small small are bipolar filaments these will be present in both the ends so bipolar and inside the egg we will have six hooklets okay now next coming to the trematodes trematodes we will remember this as see cysto uh, cystosomium hematobium cystosomium mansoni and cystosomium japonicum now cystosomium hemat hematobium will have a terminal spine see t hematobium has t so terminal spine mansoni will have a lateral spine and japonicum cum has a knob see knob and cum cum we pronounce it write it as k u m so cum and knob looking similar so japoni cum will have a lateral knob mansoni will have a lateral spine and hematobium will have a terminal spine see this is the terminal spine this is the lateral spine and this is the lateral knob see this is a spine and like this this will be a knob japonicum will have a knob okay now nematodes nematodes can be differentiated from differentiated like small intestine nematodes and large intestine nematodes nematodes present in small intestine are ankylostoma duodenale and nectar americanus both the eggs look similar so what will be seen it will be seen as a hyaline membrane shell see this is a hyaline membrane shell with a segmented ovum see a segmented ovum with blastomeres segmented ovum is this one this one is the segmented ovum this is the segmented ovum and this four cells are the blastomeres okay so both of this eggs look similar now coming to ascariasis 
Ascariasis eggs look scary. See Ascariasis, Ascariasis and scary. A-C-A-R-Y. See both of them has this. So Ascariasis will have scary egg, scary looking egg. That is the border is very rough and looking scary looking. So we can remember is this by this. Now trichurus, now uh, large intestine nematodes. Large intestine nematodes is Trichurus trichuria and Entrobius vermicularis. Trichurus trichuria is very easy to understand. See, at both the ends there will be mucus plugs. Mucus plugs is present in the both the ends. So Trichurus trichuria will have mucus plugs on the bipolar ends, and it will be barrel shaped. Okay, now Entrobius vermicularis is also very easy to identify. It will be a plano convex egg. See, this is plano and convex. Plano convex egg with a tadpole like coiled larva. See, this larva is like this coiled, coiled like a tadpole. So, this tadpole like larva with inside a plano convex egg is of Entrobius vermicularis. Now let's see some images. See, this is of Ascariasis. Ascariasis, scary looking. Scary looking. See, the outer surface is very rough and it has this undulating membrane kind of thing. So, this is of Ascariosis. Entrobius vermicularis, see, plano convex. Plano convex. See, it's similar looking Entrobius vermicularis and this is plano convex easy to identify now ankylostoma duodenally see this is the hyaline membrane and this is the blastomere inside this is the blastomere now this is also easy to identify this has mucus plugs at both the ends so this is of trichuris trichura see this is barrel shaped and has mucus plugs on both the ends. So, this is of trichuris trichuria. Now, non bile stained eggs. Okay, non bile stained eggs and eggs that float on the saturated salt solution. This is a mnemonic for this. Neha. See, non bile stained and starts with neha. So, nectar americanus. Entrobius vermicularis, H. nana, and Ankylostoma duodenale. Non bile stained eggs are Neha. Both start with N. So, this is over. Now, eggs that float on the saturated salt solution. See, float on saturated salt solution is Fate. Fate. So, fertilized eggs of Ascariasis, not the non fertilized one. Okay. This will be the fertilized eggs of Ascariasis, Ankylostoma duodenale, Trichuris trichuria, Entromeus vermicularis, and H. nana, the infertile egg of H. nana. Okay. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Do like, share, and subscribe to this channel to get more videos of this kind.